Okay, so quantum spoon bending, and I'm going to work with a fork, but work with whatever you want. And um, like I said, if you uh, feel like the one you're working with is not working with you, put it down, use another one. You know, you can go through and dig more out of the bin. We, we have plenty. Um, quantum spoon bending is a really fun technique. And if you go on YouTube, you'll find plenty of quantum, like put in the search quantum spoon bending, you'll get some interesting uh, videos up there. It is a matter of um, understanding time and space don't really exist as hardcore as we think they do. Um, everything evolves and changes in time. Everything is in a constant state of evolution and change. Um, and we have the memory of that in our body. So just think about like um, if you're having an upset experience, so you're tense and someone who loves you comes up and they're like, hey, can I help you? And it's someone you trust and love completely. So you allow them to put their hands on your shoulders, give you a hug and say, hey, do you remember that time we went to the carnival and we had so much fun? And you allow the memory of that time to come and relax you. And in your mind, you might even travel back to that time when you and this good friend were at the carnival and had so much fun. And it literally changes everything in your body on how you're feeling. And all the tension goes away, you're breathing again, and you're infused with the good energy of the time before. So you all are with me on that. We are going to give our spoons or forks the permission to do the same thing. So um, uh, I'm going to tell you in advance what the meditation will be, so therefore it'll be easier for you to go with me. It's a short meditation. Um, well, at the start, we'll do a little grounding ourselves. I should have done that already. Sorry. So what we will do is uh, hold the fork or spoon, whatever way is comfortable for you, with both hands. It can be this way, this way. It doesn't really matter. You're connecting with it. And you are going to remind this silverware that once upon a time, this was metal or deep in the ground that people came and dug up and kidnapped it from its home. Maybe it felt like it was going on an adventure or maybe it was terrified. We don't know. But your silverware knows whether or not it was an exciting, exhilarating, or traumatic or confusing experience. And then it was taken to a place where it was, you know, mixed with a whole lot of other ore and elements, melted down from its solid state to a liquid state, a hot, hot liquid state, poured into molds and then cooled. And then here we have it. So we're going to give this spoon permission to relax, to go back to the time when it was a liquid state, to go back in time. And if your eyes are closed or spaced out, you know, it's okay to be either way, uh, open and spaced out or closed. Um, as you give the silverware permission to go back in time, Think of time as sort of circular, like I'll think of it like a Ferris wheel going around and speed it up. Imagine it as a loop, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. And the whole time you're sending energy into the spoon as it's going back in time and relaxing. And when you feel the time is right, bend it, bend it. And it, you know, you'll be amazed with how soft it becomes. I mean, that's, uh, that's how I did this here and, you know, this here. So this is the first technique we're going to try today. If you find this technique doesn't work for you, don't worry. The next one we're going to do is the angelic resonance energy. Usually one or the other works. I can tell you the first, and Renessa knows this from the last time I taught, 
you know, with her. The first person to bend the spoon will be the person who doesn't even believe in this stuff. They're just like here with a friend because they're emotionally neutral. The last person to bend it will be the person who wants it so bad. <laughs> so, you know, let yourself just like become neutral and know that if I can do it, you can do it. It's not a matter of can you do it. It's just which technique works best and most comfortably for you. And the best way for that to happen is just go along and try one after another. Um, I can tell you if there's anyone here who's like the matriarch or the patriarch of your family and you're the one who fixes everything for everyone, uh, subconsciously the idea of mangling silverware, uh, I don't consider it mangling, I consider it giving it a fun new shape, but uh, making something that's currently functional associated with dysfunctional just might not work. If you're that sort of person, then uh, go in and grab, please, not one of the really thick ones, but um, ask me and we can get you some of the uh, these and you can straighten them out yeah. because, <laughs> because um, every couple of classes I get someone, they cannot bend silverware, but they can repair, they can fix it. <laughs> And um, it, we'll try that technique a little later in the class. <laughs> okay, so take your spoon or your fork, hold it in your hands with your eyes either closed or spaced out. Um, give your feet permission to relax. Give your feet permission to relax and invite all the energy that's in your legs and your hips and your core and your body to flow down through your feet. You don't need to take any action. Just allow your feet to have permission to do their own thing and relax. They will. And then invite the top of your head to relax. And you'll notice it almost immediately, once the feet are relaxed, will start feeling light and airy and tingly with the energy flowing in automatically and naturally with no action on your side beyond granting your body permission to do what it naturally is functioned to do. If there's any pain or pressure in the top of your head, acknowledge it and give it permission to resolve itself. And you'll notice it will. And as the top of your head relaxes, your feet relax even further. And the more your feet relax, the more the top of your head relaxes. And you'll notice that the energy flows fully, beautifully through your body as though you are a, um, a tube and you've opened up a spigot of divine energy that's just flowing through you. Invite some of this energy to also fill your heart center and flow down through your arms to your hands directly to the spoon that is nestled comfortably between your fingers and hands. Connect emotionally, energetically with this spoon. Remind your spoon there was once a time when it was not in this shape. It was in another shape. Once upon a time, this spoon was a part of the core of our planet, molten lava. And eventually, as the core of our planet pushed itself upward and outward, this bit of metal congealed. It solidified. The further it went from the core of our Earth's heat up towards the crust of the Earth, it became more solid and harder, denser, as it slowly, with the aid of plate tectonics, worked its way up 
and up and up to the crust of our earth, where for the first time it was close to sunlight, to animals, worms and grubs and tree roots. And then humans came along and dug it up. And for the first time ever, it was surrounded by oxygen. It was taken to a factory, a warehouse, where it was mixed with other metal and elements, and then melted again, returning to its state from when it was in the core of the earth, but not quite the same. A slightly different variation of a comfortable old theme. And it mixed with other metals and ores from all around the world until it was removed from its smelting pot and poured into little tiny silverware molds where it hardened and then was put in a box and shipped to us. Invite your spoon or fork to remember what it was like when it was hot and melted. Remember what it was like just a short time ago and then before then a long time ago when it was liquid. You can imagine this time as a cycle, a cycle of time, a wheel. And this wheel is spinning clockwise, counterclockwise, whichever way it's spinning for you is perfect. Invite your silverware to join you on this cycle of time spinning. And let it spin faster and faster. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up so fast. It's going backwards in time to a warmer, softer, meltier state. And when you feel the energy is right, bend your spoon. And if it's not right, go back on the cycle and continue. You may try a few times. It may work right away. You may find you need to push a little bit the first time. Once you do the initial push, everything flows. You may find once it flows, you are startled and it stops. Then you go back and start again.